Sandy Ryan, first of all, congratulations. You've just defended your WBO World Welterweight title in all British world title fights. Sum up the emotions right now. Um, it's hard to explain the emotions, but yeah. Long camp, a lot of changes, and um, so it's just like all worth it and just happy right now. Yeah. You said that Terry wouldn't be able to take you into deep waters in this fight, and you certainly proved that. What do you think you've showed to yourself and also to everyone here that was watching and around the world? Um, just who I am and and I am feel like I am the best in the division, the world weight division, and um, so yeah, just proved who I am and looking forward to the next challenge. I think what made tonight even all the more special was the fact that you had to get over that controversial draw last time out. I imagine that took a bit of time to, to get over because we felt and most people felt that you won that quite convincingly. Yeah. So how? extra satisfying is it to put in a performance like tonight with all that at, at the back of your mind? Yeah, like I said in the build up, it was in the back of my mind and I was like, don't leave it to the judges. But then sometimes it's, it probably looks a bit uh, forcing it a little bit, whereas I need to sit down more on my shots. Don't be a bit too reckless. I was a little bit reckless in there. So I was, uh, I'll go, I'll be back in the gym working on that and I'm sure my trainers will be shouting at me and w telling me, where I went wrong, but um, yes, um, yeah, on to the next one. Listening to your corner between rounds, the instructions that you were getting seemed really clear. Some of yeah. the stuff was to sit down in your shots yeah, and stuff like I mean, that. Yeah. How beneficial did you find that? And also having this new team behind you? Yeah, like, look, we gel really well and <laughs> it, it, it kind of showed in there, didn't it? <clears throat> they, know, they knew, like, I needed to sit down and... <clears throat> be smart with my shots but they also know that what I've, the spite and the fire I've got in me and they knew that I was a bit reckless and so we'll just we'll just go back to the gym and we'll work on that and it's just little minor things that I, I just need to keep drilling but uh, it's all there it's all there. There was a bit of needle be beneath the surface between you and Terry this week but I'm sure you've got the utmost respect for her and it was great to share yeah. them with her tonight. Yeah it was it kind of needle it's uh, you see, and after like me and Terry, we've have always had respect for her. We've always followed each other in, in the boxing. But this is boxing. <coughs> you have to kind of build up the fights a little bit. There's no need to be. Uh, we didn't have any needle really. It was just a bit back and forth, and that kind of builds the fight a little bit, and uh, kind of get get her a little bit worried or whatever. But that's uh, this is boxing. So yeah. Physically, you look much stronger in there. You seem spiteful. You were relentless with the pressure that you were forcing. Is that how it felt from the, the first bell? Yeah, I knew that we needed to put the pressure on her, but be smart with it. And I knew that I was um, fit and strong enough to do that. I feel like I'm a good, strong bolt weight now. And the training that I've been doing, like, it's been crazy. <laughs> um, running up mountains and <laughs> opening my lungs. I knew I was ready to gas out in there if I needed to. Um, so yeah, I was I was more than prepared. Let's just touch on the sacrifices that you've made in this camp. Obviously, you made the decision to go to Las Vegas for eight, nine weeks, not a place where you can just nip back home <laughs> if you want no. to. But I guess to put in a performance like today just makes that all the more worthwhile. Yeah, look, I was away for a long time, away from uh, everyone. And I just want to thank Flick and Kay because they're the only guys out there that I trusted and I put my whole trust in. and. They was there with me every every training session, morning, sometimes 4.30 in the morning and then late at night. <coughs> so I just want to thank them and um, yeah, new changes, but sometimes in life you have to have them changes and sometimes in life, excuse my language, shit happens and like, <laughs> I'm no um, stranger to that. Like, last, especially last year, um, I had someone really close to me Pass, and that was for him, Terry Johnson. It's really brave of you to say that, Sandy. And some of his family was out there tonight. It's really brave of you. Take all the time you need. That's what I mean, you throw anything at me at life because I can handle it, trust me. I've already been through a lot of shit in my life, so who, 
whoever's next. When Brian tells me who's next, I'll be taking it. And uh, they will want to be afraid of me now in the waterweight division because they ain't, I ain't losing a fight from now on. I do feel like, just from being around you and watching you this week, there has been a, a change in attitude. There seems to be a real steel in the eye. Have you noticed that in yourself? Maybe not just this week, but just throughout this camp. Um, yeah, it's always a, always a f fire burning in me, and just like f I think stuff in life, and just it just makes you stronger. And then you meet new people, and then they help you rebuild again. Like my team now, um, so. Like my, me and my trainers with Joe, my, me and my manager with Joe. Like I couldn't thank them enough, and um, yeah, Brian as well. Like I've only just signed with him, and he's just been, he's been. A f I'm grateful, and it's just been a pleasure. I ain't had to do anything. I ain't had to think of anything. All I've had to think of is my training, turning up, telling me what time I'm at the venue, and just packing my bag. I ain't had to think of anything else, and it's been nice to focus 100% on my training and my boxing. Training and sparring as well with the likes of Katie Taylor and Clarissa Shields in the last six six months or so, how, how much have you felt that that's benefited you and, and brought out more confidence in you in the ring? Yeah, like massively, like Katie and Clarissa, Katie messaged me today, I spoke to Clarissa on the phone, like they're great girls and for me to get the rounds in with them, um, yeah, I just feel like this. that's just where I belong. I just so I just need to keep building myself to make sh to be in that bracket of um, like the top ten girls and top five and whatever. I'm sure there'll be a short break now, and then you'll sit down with Brian Thomas and the team and discuss what's next. But in your mind, if you could pick out one oppo opponent that you would like to face next, who who would that be? Um, or is it anyone can get it? Yeah, <laughs> anyone can get it. But yeah, we've got there's big fights out there, and like you've got the. WBC is vacant, isn't it? You've got Tasha Jonas holding a belt. You've got, obviously, t anybody. Anybody, really. Um, yeah. The what weight division. Sandy Ryan, congratulations. Really Thank sorry you. for your loss, but an amazing performance tonight. Thank you so much.